What's going on everybody? If you're seeing this page, that means the official Torn Your Rain Reloaded merch store is now available. To get access to the store, make sure you go ahead and click the store tab on my YouTube channel. From there, you will be able to see all the merch that is available. We have mugs, shirts, hoodies, joggers, and so much more to come. All original designs made by yours truly, Torn Your Rain Reloaded. Now go ahead and get your merch today and you can feel nothing in style. The university just thinks this will just quiet down. But we've been there before. Hatred doesn't disappear. Shai Davidai is an assistant professor of management at the Columbia Business School who grew up in Israel. He says he was shocked to his core by the Hamas atrocities on October 7th, and then by what he saw as the university's failure to condemn the perpetrators by name. Why do you think that is? And I, I think it's a mixture of cowardice, and part of it is callousness. Davidai's frustration erupted two weeks after the attack in a video that went viral. President Minush Shafiq of Columbia University, you are a coward! What can the university do at this time? If you support Hamas, you should not be allowed to be an organization of campus. Universities, colleges, are supposed to be bastions of free speech. But is this not a free speech issue? So is a student organization celebrating a lynching of an African-American male free speech? I'm not asking for restrictions of free speech. I'm asking for equal treatment. That's it. You have spoken out. Have you been reprimanded in any way by the university? I have not done anything wrong. I'm only saying what thousands of Jewish and Israeli faculty, staff, and students are feeling. Here they go, doing it again. And by doing it again, I mean finding a way to slip black people into whatever it is they got going on when black people do not have a dog in this fight. I swear, if it's not one thing or another. So the most recent one I talked about was the comments that Julianne Margulies had to say. Of course, by now, everybody has heard it because many people put their commentaries up before mine. But, you know, y'all heard what I had to say. Now we fast forward to this guy right here who had to find a way to shoehorn black people into what he what they have going on to try to make it as an example piece for what they whatever issues that they have right now when they when he didn't even have to and it's interesting because i was watching a live stream that Tariq had did recently as a matter of fact i'm recording this video on december 4th 2023 where he was basically saying the reason why they do this is because we they are trying to steal our mor morality compass i think i'm not exactly sure if that's what it was but i knew i know the word morality was in there and they have to find a way to incorporate us in there somehow some way so we had juliana margulies literally say call us everything but the child of god in her rant on that podcast you have michael rapaport who said what he had to say you know i did a live stream talking about that and there's probably several others out there doing the same exact thing and this guy right here whose name is shy davidai i believe that's what the uh the person said their name was is basically doing the same thing now here's the kicker the person that he's talking to who's conducting this interview is a black man like he had the nerve to sit across from another black man and look him dead in his eye and say the quote in which he said he basically said something along the lines of basically about something about the lynching of a black man or something like that not free speech and so on and so forth and everything like that what did his ancestors yes i said his ancestors back in the day do to my ancestors if we want to go back to just as far as Jim Crow, that was seen as free speech. Them calling them the N-word, them lynching them, all of that was a part of the free speech. But see, the thing is, they're trying to throw themselves into the victim hood, the victim spot. And the only way that they can do it is by throwing black people in there as well. It's like on one hand, they have to throw black people in there to try to make a point. Then on the other hand, they're insulting black people for not speaking out and supporting them 
for their cause because apparently allegedly they stood alongside black people during the civil rights movement and during the civil rights era they have all of the support they possibly can get from other people why do you need us to be on your side what would we even gain out of that probably nothing much like we have gained absolutely nothing from this establishment even though we should have been have gotten and received a lot from this establishment a long time ago and still ongoing to this day and beyond if i was the person conducting this interview like if i was the black man that was sitting across from this man when he said that my immediate question to follow back up with him would have been why did you feel the need to have to bring black people into the equation why do you feel the need to have to shoehorn us into your situation just to see what his response would have been it would have been some bs i'm telling you that right now spoiler alert it would have been some bs however i wanted to know or would have liked to know what was the context or what was the details within the bs he was going to spew because i know it was going to be just that i know it was going to be some nonsense something that made no type of sense whatsoever but they find a way to still throw us in there somehow, some way. Now, also on the other side of it, imagine if it was a black man in the position of this man sitting across from a PC man who happened to be Jewish and said something on the on the flip side and said, well, what if it if, uh, something that affected them? Then they would have been quick to call that black man anti-Semitic. And truth be told, he probably wouldn't even have to have said that. He probably wouldn't have even have to have said much of anything and they would have immediately thrown that label onto him. I guarantee it. I can guarantee it. So like I said, just be mindful and be aware that of what they're doing, not even what they're trying to do at this point, what they are doing. He could have conducted this interview, not the person interviewing him, not the black man, but the PC one. He could have easily got his point across without having to throw black people in there. And notice they always have to go back to the grievances and the degradation that black people have gone through in this establishment. And quiet as it's kept, in case he wasn't aware, a lot of it was at the hands and actions of people who look like him and identify as him. But they don't want to talk about that. You spring that up, then you know you're anti this and anti that. That's another thing they like to do. They, they you try to use it as a as a conversation shut down thing. But the thing is, they're also getting upset because that's not even working anymore. A lot of people aren't falling for their little antics anymore, and they're upset about that too. They can go around and say you're anti this and anti that, but it's like it holds no weight. It's like carrying a bag full of feathers at this point but yeah he could have usually he could have got his point across without mentioning us but he did notice that they don't mention any other group there were other groups that went through some things granted not nearly as much as what we've gone through and still go through to this day but there are other groups out there that go through some other things. He could have said something, you know, as it related to like whatever issue, maybe the Asian community got going on or whatever the South of the Bordarian community got going on or even his own community. But nope, he had to bring up black people and the lynching of a black man and then link it to free speech all to try to prove and drive home a point with what he got going on with what they got going on there's no co there's no correlation there at all they're going to try to say that it is but it isn't we have our own thing going on you have your thing going on there is no intertwining here there's no cross roads here there's no crossing of the path but they'll continue to do it unless we continue to call out this BS because that's exactly what it is like I said when we had what we had going on with us where were they at as a matter of fact we weren't going on TV and doing interviews and saying or trying to compare their plight to ours but yet they might they found a way to throw us into theirs we didn't ask for that 
but you still do it anyway. And then wonder why we push back. And when we push back, you get the responses of your Juliana Margulies calling us everything they could think of out the book and then giving up fake apologies like it actually means something and it means nothing apology not accepted and it wasn't even really an apology it was just you acknowledging yes you got called out and you have to do a pr move in order to try to save and salvage whatever's left of your decaying career but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and talk about this. This was a video I just came across on, on Twitter. I don't think anybody tagged me in it. I just saw it on the timeline and said, yep, here they go again. There they go again, having to throw us into the mix when we, when we didn't ask to be there and we keep telling them, don't throw us in it because we're not part of it. And then you get upset when we say we're not a part of it. And then you want to come back and say, oh, we helped you do this. No, you didn't. If you're going to tell the story, you need to tell the entire story. I mean, we know you like to dibble and dabble and half truths and whole lies. But over here, we're going to tell it all. Spare no feelings. We don't care how you feel. We are all grown at the end of the day. All that stuff about you, your feelings being hurt and all this, that, and the third, that's very childish. Last time I checked, we were all adults. <laughs>